Let's go, it's the Whitey Show. Titanfall 2 is the sequel to the exclusive on Xbox One back in the day. Uh, Titanfall came out. It was a very fast-paced, almost Call of Duty-like shooter, but with mechs and just futuristic feel. And everybody really enjoyed it for about a week, and then it got kind of boring. So here comes Titanfall 2. And is it a better game? Is it a better package? At full price, they get a campaign in this one. You got the multiplayer being even better than before. So is it worth picking up with all these new added features? Well, let's find out. Probably the biggest bonus or plus in this game is you got a story mode this time. In the original Titanfall, you went through multiplayer matches that kind of filled in the story, but they weren't very well done. In this, you actually have a story, as in a campaign. You go through it. So that's a really big plus because the campaign in this game is extremely fun. They give you all the tools that you need to kind of get used to the multiplayer after, and then you get to use the mech at the right amount of time and also just being on foot the right amount of time and just switching on and off between that worked really well in the campaign it was a little short under about seven hours but in the overall funness of it and the epicness of it i think it's a huge bonus to have in this game and have an awesome fun campaign added on to the multiplayer of titanfall when linked to a titan a pilot can only be stopped by overwhelming force Another plus is got to be the actual graphics. They were good in Titanfall, and they're even better in this game. The fire effects look wonderful. The explosions are great. The character models are badass. The mechs are just awesome. I mean, there's no going around it. They're just great. Everything in this game looks really well done, especially in a multiplayer, which before looked great, but with the amount of shit that's happening on screen, it still looks phenomenal when you have your 12 players plus the mechs, plus robots, plus other grunts. I mean, it's just great. It looks like a battlefield online, plus the single player looks great as well. On top of that, the gameplay stays fresh, fun, and exciting every time you play because it's fast-paced, chaotic, and entertaining. See, this is what Titanfall 1 did really well, is give you this new, fresh feeling of multiplayer on speed, basically. And this game just enhances it. So you're running on walls, you're jumping off buildings, you're slamming people into the wall with your uh, finishers. You got calling down mechs. You got actual army of mechs in this game. I don't think that was in the last game. There's just so much greatness in this game that you got to love the chaoticness of it because that is something that it does extremely well in both the single player but especially the multiplayer. Another great feature is of course the unlock system. It actually feels earned in this game so it takes a while to unlock a lot of stuff. You have to use credits to, to buy new weapons but even then even if you have a really pimped out awesome soldier on your team he is not that much better than the regular guy beginning the game. So this game really relies on your skill and that's another plus besides just being able to unlock all this stuff is the balance. This game offers some of the best balance I've ever seen on multiplayer. Everyone really has a fighting chance. I can beat any man Mech. any mech can beat me each mech has its weaknesses and strengths and also the soldiers just your gameplay style really comes down to what type you are, are you close range or you're going to sneak around shoot from behind in a shotgun are you going to be a far range sniper you're going to be a mid-range machine gun it just really depends on your style and i think this game more than any other multiplayer game that i played in the last few years has the best balance i've seen and that's a huge plus because that is one of the biggest things you need to achieve in the multiplayer experience for any shooter Now, saying all these wonderful things, there are two things in Titanfall that kind of distract me from being one of the greatest games of all time for me. The biggest thing, and this feature just kind of really 
I, I wish was better was the story. It's not that it's bad. It has its moments. And like I said, the campaign itself, the gameplay of the campaign is extremely well done and fun and paced very well. But the story itself could have been better. And I wanted it to. Like, it had these moments that were just not capitalized on. So you play as this main character and you have BT, who's your robot, who's your mech, who's your pal. And I should have felt something throughout that campaign, that bond. And I only felt it once in a blue moon when it should have been constant constant these are the most times in this campaign you're by yourself with bt i wanted to constantly feel a connection even though he's a robot it should have came as a better bromance or uh, whatever you call it uh, it just didn't it didn't capitalize on its story it was such a missed opportunity because the, the campaign was so good i wanted the story to follow suit and the ending came abruptly and you're kind of just like oh so that was a disappointment. The other thing is the maps. I think I prefer the maps in the first game. Now, not to say they're all horrible in this game. It's just there's a couple of maps in this game that are actually annoying to play on. Versus I loved almost every map in the first game. So I felt really disappointed sometimes when I got a map I hated in this game. And you can't veto or anything. So it's a, that is one feature I wish they would improve on the maps. And I hope that they drop some new ones. So those are really the two features that distract me from making an otherwise absolutely fun experience so let's get on to the final version I'm gonna say though, despite those two negatives, Titanfall is easily one of the best games this year. I mean this is the high-end adrenaline rush FPS experience that you've been wanting to play. There's Battlefield, which is huge team battles. There's Call of Duty, which is just, you know, the same thing every year. There's Gears of War, which is the third person fun uh, game that you all love. But Titanfall is for those fast paced junkies, including myself, who I'm not very good at the online. I have fun. I do okay, but I'm not super good. However, I have a blast every time I play because it's just so exciting to run into the battlefield, jump off walls, jump into a mech burn down people, kill them, shoot them. It looks amazing in this game. It really is just a very fun game. So saying that, I'm going to give Titanfall one of the best ratings I gave this year, a 9 out of 10. And it's definitely worth anybody who's played the original Titanfall should pick this up. But anybody who just wants a very, very fun first-person shooter that's chaotic and enjoyable, have to check this game out. Don't even rent it. I'm saying full, full on buy at $50, $60 is totally worth it. Very well done game. Titanfall, you have earned your spot as one of the best games of 2016. I serve as a rifleman in the militia, fighting to free the frontier. I'm a long way from becoming a pilot. But when that day comes, I hope I can live up to the honor. <laughs> 